Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are back with another Dragon Star series figure. It's Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. On um, our last video, we did the battle damage Super Saiyan Goku. The one before that, we did Bardock. And now we are on to Gohan. So I'm excited to get this one out of the package. We've got Super Saiyan 3 Goku on the way as well. Um, here's the figure just really quick on the packaging. Not too much going on here. We got the figure, the extra hands, the character's name, and some other figures in the back. Um, but we've got the Super Saiyan 3 Goku on the way. And then if there are any other figures you guys like to see from the Dragon Star series, uh, please leave a comment down below. I know some of you have asked for specific figures in the comments, and I always uh, take a note of those. And I've been going on eBay to see what I can find. But as far as the figures go, let me know if you'd like to see more of the classic Irwin or Jax figures, or if you like these Dragon Stars figures and you want me to keep um, keep getting these. And if you do prefer the Dragon Stars, just let me know what characters. Did I miss a piece of tape? Sorry, one second. But yeah, sorry guys, just gotta get this open. It might be a little bit easier behind the behind the camera. I might just there we go. pull that off. But yeah, if you have any specific characters from the Dragon Star series, um, let me know. I've gotten a few comments already about getting uh, like Supreme Kai with Kabito, Android 19. Some of you have asked for the larger movie figures, and I've been looking at the, um, it was a set of three. It was base form Goku, like a battle damage Vegeta and Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. They were a little bit taller. I'm not sure what the, what the inches were, uh, but if you guys are interested in that or any of the older figures, uh, please just leave a comment down below. Um, gone through quite a bit of my collection, so I'm looking for some new ideas. So we've got Super Saiyan 2 Gohan here. We'll go ahead and get him out of the packaging. Really excited to have this figure. I've got the Super Saiyan Gohan with the cape from the old Irwin series. I believe I've seen a Super Saiyan Gohan with the cape from the Dragon Star series, so I'm probably going to look to add him to the collection. Um, Gohan is one of my favorite characters from Dragon Ball Z, and the Super Saiyan 2 one when he's fighting Cell um, is probably one of the coolest moments of my childhood, watching Gohan finally you know, unlock his power, transform to Super Saiyan 2, and just beat Cell down. Uh, so really excited to have this figure. They didn't have these back in the day when I was growing up. Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, I think the only place you can find it was the Irwin figure with the glowing orb on the hand. And so getting one that you can actually pose with all the articulation uh, is a really, really nice touch. So one thing that I automatically notice about this figure um, is that he is shorter than the others, which is really neat to see. The figures are kind of done to scale, so when you put them up, one next to the other, you know, Gohan's gonna be shorter than Goku. So it's already a nice touch. Let me set him down. We've got some extra hands here. I'm not gonna worry about putting those on in the video, um, but I may change those out for the cover photo. So here is the figure from the front. See, his face is perfect. They did such a good job on his hair and on his face. The eyes, the color, and it's absolutely perfect. Only thing about his shirt is I wish it was maybe more of a V-shape as opposed to being round like that. Um, whenever I think back to Gohan fighting Cell, I always remember his shirt being more V than rounded. So not a huge deal. And this isn't just completely round. It does V in a little bit, but I wish it was a little bit more. And then also over here on his shoulders, you can see there's kind of carryover from the shirt. Um, I wish it wasn't there because if you like watching the show, I get with the articulation, it may be shouldn't look like that, but here it looks like he has a bit of a sleeve when he normally wouldn't. Again, not a huge deal, but just a few things to point out. In terms of articulation, just like a lot of the others, his arms go up and down. They come out to the side. His bicep rotates here. He bends at the elbow. His wrists turn all the way around. His forearm turns all the way around. I mean, you can pretty much do it all with this figure. Same thing on this arm. And with his legs, they go up all the way around, bend at the knee, his ankles turn all the way around, his foot pivots up and down. So there's a ton you can do here. One interesting thing though is the way it's made, I know they have to do this for your articulation, but this front piece here just looks a little too long. Not, I mean, I know they have to do it to get the figure to do certain things, but it just looks a little, a little bit off. Again, not a huge deal, the figure itself is amazing. Beautiful figure, great detail, but just a couple little things that I kind of notice along the way. 
There's the figure from the back, the hair back here, absolutely perfect. I love every single individual spike in detail. You can't beat that. Wow, looks so good. You know, the purple, the blue, all that is spot on, looks great. Even the shoes, kind of faded, dark orange, looks really good. His head, it does turn all the way around. Well, not all the way around, but um, actually it does, it turns all the way around. So up and down just a little bit, but his neck, there's a little joint down there that allows you to move that around. So an awesome looking figure. I love having a Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. And I gotta go and get the one uh, with the cape, the base form. Hopefully you can take the cape off on that one. I'm not sure. I need to look at that figure in more detail. I'm gonna go ahead and set this guy down. And I forgot to do this in the last couple videos, so I'm gonna go ahead and measure the figure. And let's see how tall this one is. So he is probably right at six inches with his hair. And then this other Goku, just kind of for comparison. You can see the Goku's about an inch taller than the Gohan. So that looks really, really cool. I might even pop this Goku up over here and then put Gohan down, just so when we bring the camera down, we can see Goku right there behind him. So one second, guys, let me get this camera down. And then let's see what these guys look like up close. trying to get a good angle here sorry if it's not perfect but see Gohan the hair the face they just did such a great job on that I'm gonna point out a few of the things minor little details maybe just my preference um based on how you look in the show but overall I mean the figure is absolutely beautiful anyone who's a Gohan fan I highly recommend it so we got Goku and Gohan father and son a little bit closer you guys can see the detail there so if you enjoy this Gohan figure, one of my favorite characters, like I said earlier in the video, any other figures you'd like to see, whether it's more the classic Irwin or it's new Dragon Star series, please let me know. I'll do my best to get the figures and get more of those videos up soon. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.